Well, welcome back to my channel. I'm not gonna lie to you, I just put my coffee, it's gonna be cold, in the microwave, and then it was boiling and I just spat it all over the side, which was really good. But at least I haven't burned the inside of my mouth, so that is the silver climbing. The silver lining. I thought that I would start a vlog because we are in the midst of a very strange time. The coronavirus is everywhere. I mean, it's like all anyone's talking about. And so we're all sort of self-isolated. I'm currently at my boyfriend's flat and I have been here for a while. I haven't gone home because my mum has bad asthma and my stepdad, as you know, has motor neurons disease. So I feel like I'm in London, I don't want to be bringing back anything to them. It seems a bit strange to just continue with normal uploads. I thought I would do a kind of vlog style video. I do want to show you some homeware pieces today. I've been in the house, I don't know why I wasn't vlogging more because I'm like the, the ultimate person that never gets bored alone. I started a puzzle yesterday, which is a thousand piece puzzle, and I'm say we're 60% done. Doing that with, I actually don't think I've ever said I've got boyfriend. Which feels really strange because I haven't had a boyfriend for a very long time. That's that. We did this puzzle together yesterday because he's been off work for the last week as well. Get ready because I can tell you that I haven't put makeup on for a long old time. Back, I dropped my camera on the floor, it was all a bit emotional up in here. I've done my bronzer and my blush. Benefit, give me brow, brow gel, which has, I can actually use my mirror, which would probably be more helpful to me. It has a bit of colour in it, but it also just brushes them up in the right direction. And then I go in and use the eyebrow um, pencil from Ted Baker. As you can see, it's a little bit of a weird shape right now because I've tried to sharpen it so many times and it's not working. It's such a good, soft eyeshadow, I mean, eyebrow pencil. For the people, for the land. Let's go back. Also, at the moment, I'm not going to put any eyeshadow on today because just keeping it casual, I don't know if we're even going to go to a meeting today. But I'm obsessed with this Pillow Talk eyeshadow palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I pretty much use this every day, but I'm not like an eyeshadow palette girl every day. So, every day when I'm trying to look particularly nice, let's go with that. Today, is, today isn't that day. I'm, um, I'm back from my meeting. I'm wearing a new jumper. Got this from ASOS. I will leave it in the description box. I thought before the sun goes down, it's like four o'clock now, I would show you some of the things that we got at HomeSense, which is literally my favourite place to go to in the whole wide world. First of all, I'll start with the bit that we bought for Buster. We bought him a couple of things. First of all, we bought him this little bed in there, it's really cute, it's got other little doggies on it. We've basically been trying to stop him from sitting on the sofa with us all the time because my mum doesn't like dogs on the sofa, my dad doesn't like dogs on the sofa, and he takes up a lot of sofa, you know? So we've been trying to get him to lie in there, and actually, I've just come in uh, from going downstairs, and he keeps getting himself in there himself, which is good. We've got this, which is his toy box, which as you can see, is empty of toys because he likes to get them all out. That was 9.99. Almost forgot that we paid for it and left it in the trolley. We leave that cupboard open, I don't know why. Next up, picked up this candle, which is Midnight Blue Citrus, inspired by the Californian coast. It was only eight pounds, and I really love this top bit. I'm kind of using it half as a coaster as well. Just smells delicious, I got this. How much was this? I feel like I haven't taken the labels off anything. Oh no, I must have. I think this was like 12 99 or something, but it's a fake plant. I don't know much about plants. Then I also picked up these white marble coasters. They have like silver around the bottom and there's two more, but they're in the bedroom. That was to go with the new table. I'll show you it. That we also got again. Oh, Buster's made his way onto the sofa <laughs> again from HomeSense. It's this table. Oh, there's all the Buster's toys. Which is <laughs> really nicely with the coaster. So I thought this was like a really nice little scene. Just really kind of affordable stuff from HomeSense, which is great. Basically the same as TK Maxx if you don't have HomeSense. Um, and then also picked up these cushions. I think each one was like £14 or something. A knitted tealy blue a grey, softer one, um, and yeah, it just goes nicely with the rug. Okay, Buster. And also got a vase, because everybody needs a vase, and you can get really good vases at 
um, Home Sense and TK Maxx. It's almost $7.99. It's a really simple vase. Then we've got a lot of sheets for the bedroom, which are really nice because we've got a new super king size bed. But I feel like we don't need to see that. And over here, I was very organized, but because I did my makeup with you in the living room, I put it all in this bag to take into the living room. But this usually looks a little bit more like this. This is my new like makeup storage. Six drawers, this one's kind of chunky over the bottom and this one lifts up. So I have to move that off when I want to use it. That is from Amazon and I will leave that in the description box. I think I need to do some tidying. I've got some editing to do. Then dinner later. Although I've already made dinner. We have um, spaghetti bolognese. Oh, still ready for later because I made it last night, I made a big batch. Like, is it possible to make spaghetti bolognese and not make a huge batch? It's not. We have some new collars from Bark London. This is from Bark London. This is the one Buster currently has. This one. And they are nice and sturdy, but we have a very rough dog. So he's managed to work his way through it. I'm gonna switch it. And I'm thinking, we're gonna do that. No. <laughs> and he got a ball, but I wanna keep that nice because I wanna take a nice picture of him. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> sit down, Buster. Buster, sit. Do you want to say hello to my, my video? Well, oh, there he is. <laughs> Leave me in the comments. Living in the carpet. Link me in the comments. Lick me? Lick me in the comments. <laughs> I'm going to put that on. Put it on. <laughs> so <delicious. laughs> Nothing in the fridge. Nothing at all. Just kidding. We did a little shop, didn't we? Yeah. And we also got, you know, the essentials for surviving fleurs. Feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way It is all a little bit crazy in... I was going to say in England right now, in the world right now. We have finally gone into lockdown in England, so people aren't allowed to leave their houses. This is, it's crazy, crazy how bad this coronavirus is. I am with Nick, my boyfriend, who will see in a bit. We have come to my mum's Airbnb. I think I've shown this a few times on my story before, but I thought I would show you around and show you what we're doing. I think we're here for the next 10 days. I'm not sure what's gonna go on after that. She's got bookings here after that, but I don't know whether they'll all be canceled or what. Can't do anything, Nick's working from home, I'm working from home. This is my tool. It's kind of okay for me because I can work online. I haven't actually posted a YouTube video. As I mentioned, I think I mentioned this before in this video, but like I had some other videos filmed, but it just seems a bit irrelevant posting hauls. I think I'm gonna vlog more. I need to get into editing my videos faster because things keep changing so fast. I'm like, that vlog was irrelevant. But yeah, we're in the Cotswold. It's so nice. I think I realized I'm maybe just a country girl. At least the weather's really nice. Um, we have like three bedrooms here at my mum's. Put in the description box in case any of you are looking to go anywhere anytime soon. But we're staying in this room. I haven't made the bed as nicely as it was before because I'm not as good as my mum but this is the bedroom that we're in nice view nice sunshine very cute um place to put your clothes but guess where our clothes are then if we come out of this bedroom you have the bathroom i'm gonna be quiet because nick is on a call this is the bathroom i love the bathroom i just had a shower actually because i was outside with bust and i got so muddy i mean you might think that i'm not fully dressed but this is the extent of me getting dressed these days. And if we go in here, rest. then if we go in here, this is one of the other bedrooms. It's a bit colder in here, and I thought I might do my makeup in here uh, because there's this big mirror. I think I might film a couple of videos here. I've got a Zara order that I did, which I might show you because there's some really good stuff. And then in here, it's like a kid's room or like a single room. Really cute. I think I'm gonna try and cook something soon or like prepare food because there's also like a massive shortage of food at the moment, which actually there isn't a shortage of food. People just stop by, don't need to. People like my granny are struggling to find food, really annoying. But um, we managed to buy a whole chicken. So I'm gonna do like a roast, which I've actually, I'm embarrassed to say, never done a roast by myself. So yeah, that's really sad, I'm 26. And I should know how to do a roast dinner but I've never done it. My mum does the best roast dinner, so why? I think, basically we've got a puzzle. We've got tea, it's so nice. I'm so happy to be here. I'm saying you'll probably just tell this to your children and grandchildren, but I think we're all going through the same things. So yeah, I can't see my mum or my stepdad because don't want to risk um, 
seeing them and bringing any contamination. It's a bit of a crazy time. My dad has also actually had coronavirus, so I haven't seen him either. He's doing okay. My brother's in Texas, so it's all really weird. I'm like such a family person, so I haven't seen anyone for ages. It's all very different for everybody. Um, but yes, let's go and see what we can make for dinner and I'll show you downstairs. <laughs> Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a start Savannah, I'm coming home, Savannah. And let me show you how full our fridge is. Doesn't even look that full, but have a look over here. Crib star. Roast dinner tonight. Cheating with this. A lot of good stuff going on. We're stocked up, but no stockpiling. Am I right? Yes, we've only got what we one need. roll of toilet roll. We've Between been using us, the lawn wherever possible. <laughs> Free pin a week. I will say we are stockpiling with a peanut butter, but this is our second pot. Yeah, it's more embarrassing when they think you're stockpiling, but really you eat a ton of flapjacks a day. <laughs> it's so true. I'm doing my first ever roast dinner. We don't know how it's going to go. We are doing. We, you, what, which bit are you helping with? Moral support. Brilliant. Let. Oh, and as if by magic. Left oven, right oven, okay. Okay, she's done it, she's turned it on. We're gonna do a little outdoor workout here. Oh, my hair looks wild and crazy. And I'll just set that up there. My first ever roast dinner. What's oh, on? Something's on. Don't need that on anymore. Let's turn that off. Just put a bit of gravy on. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Look. It's ready. Let me show it on my camera. Oh, girl. So I can tell you that my roast was actually pretty good. I think I'm gonna leave my vlog here because my internet is very slow. So I'm gonna try and upload this vlog, see how this one goes down, see what you guys are feeling about little lockdown vlogs, snippets of what we're doing. Uh, obviously we're not doing much. So let me know if you enjoyed this in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. I've also set my lights up. I don't know if you can see. I've got some lights up there. Um, in the spare room, so I'm gonna try and film my Zara haul, so that should be up soon. I might also post my other vlogs, I mean, my other haul videos for you because I've already had them filmed. Let me know what you guys want to see and I will film more, and until next time, stay safe, I hope everybody is very, very well, wash your hands, and stay in touch.